Krohara Vatas, the angry spirits. These angry spirits come to us from Buddhism and almost conflicted in their representations. They are truly a group of very angry, very aggressive spirits. And by their visage, we might think them be associated with demons. But this group is specifically associated with the sacred teachings of Buddhism. And they are terrible, terrifying, terror-inspiring gods or deities. And they are typically with multiple eyes, at least a third eye, and will typically be adorned with many skulls and specifically eight snakes. Their color is often a very deep, almost blackish blue, or they may be colored in red. And they have multiple arms are terrible warriors and their job is to ward off the enemies of Buddhist teachings. There are several in history that have come about but most prominently known a deity we featured very recently Akala the immovable who is protector of the teachings. He has three eyes and six arms and grinds his teeth with such ferocity that it creates shock waves of sound. His weapons include the sword and the thunderbolt or called the Vajra as well as an axe and a noose. We know of Sombra Raja, who is the embodiment of the nether worlds. He presides over the nether regions, but takes time from his duties to also serve as the protector of Buddhism itself. And these two are often used as symbols placed on, on strategic corners of a Buddhist facility to protect it on all sides from the forces of evil. We also know in Thailand there is Rahu who is another one of the Krodivatas and he is ready to serve in a capacity of friendliness. He will devour your bad luck or even neutralize bad energy and spit out good fortune if you have made the proper offerings to him. For this specific deity his day of Deification is Wednesdays after sunsets, and all of his items sacrificed must be in black. And even as a friendly deity, he appears as a snake body with nine heads, and his own head sits in his stomach. The Krodivatas represent a duality that we see with deities. They are not always as they appear to be, and some of the most terrible looking can serve important positions. This in protection, keeping the forces of evil away from tearing down the foundations of what we would call Buddhism. And there are many within this sect, but they remain hidden for us to find and list in our tellings of this incredible pantheon of, of mystical creatures. Thank you again for stopping at Nine World Chronicles as we explore every avenue within mythology, looking for the connections that thread mankind together. As always, we ask that you like and subscribe.